What's going on guys, your boy Gamer Guy now here bring you guys some of the NFC North ratings, EA drops some more ratings, this time we're diving to NFC North without further ado, before I drop into this video, your boy just came back from the hospital, um, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, you definitely do that, um, I was in the hospital for my mother, um, she was in the hospital, she had a stomach problem or whatnot, but she's fine now, so I do appreciate all, you know, the good, I appreciate all the, you know, the care that everybody tweeted me on Twitter, I definitely appreciate that. Um, for your boy, checking up on your boy, make sure him and his mother's okay. My brother's with me, of course. But we're back safe and sound. She's doing fine. I'm sure to give you guys an update on that. But besides all that, let's get into these ratings. So, obviously, the Green Bay Pack is number one. 90 overall is crazy. Actually, not the same because the Packers. Green Bay is coming off an NFC Championship game appearance and loaded with returning veterans with reigning MVP Aaron Rodgers, who's a 99 overall. Forgot about that. Throwing to wide receivers, Jordan Nelson, 93 overall. Randall Carr, 91 overall. Boy, them beast receivers. They had not the hat back, Ed Lakes, 90 overall. The division looks like a lock. On the offensive line, left guard, John Sitton, 97 overall. And right tackle, TJ Lane, 92 overall. A pillars of strength. Good luck, son. The Packers down. <laughs> it bad in air real life, bro. 99 overall, Aaron Rodgers. 93 overall Jordy Nelson and 91 overall Randall Cobb and Ed Lacy is a 90 overall. But you good luck shutting the Packers down because oh, and they ain't lying as good as well. Strong the Packers. Oh my god, they're gonna be they are heavily the favorites to win the Super Bowl out of the, at least go to the Super Bowl out of the NFC side. Key defensive players include middle linebacker Clay Matthews, 91 90 overall, only most better middle linebacker. Left off the linebacker Julius Peppers, 88 overall. Cornerback Casey Hayward, 85 overall. And second year, free safety. Ha ha! Clinton Dix, 81 overall. Bro, the Packers, in my opinion, there's nothing that should stop them from reaching the Lombardian trophy. They have all the weapons they need to, to basically win the trophy. And to be honest with you guys, the pack the only thing, only team that can really knock out the Packers in the playoffs, you really wouldn't be real. Well, the only team that did knock out the Packers the past couple of seasons in the playoffs was the Seahawks and the Niners. You know, the Niners had, when they were good the 2012 year. Um, 2013, um, I don't know if they've been to the playoffs or not. I don't know. I don't really keep up the Packers like that. But there's going to be no excuse why they shouldn't make the Super Bowl. I mean, they got all the weapons. They got all the weapons indeed, man. Moving on to the Detroit Lions, 83 overall. The Lions finished just a game behind the Packers last year. Didn't improve much in the offseason. Quarterback Matthew Stafford, 84 overall, returns alongside halfback. Jaqui Bell, 80 overall, and a pair of standout wide receivers and 95 overall, Megatron. Calvin Johnson and Golden Tate, which is 88 overall. Defensively, their new defensive tackle that came over from Baltimore. Shout out to y'all Ravens fans. Shout out to Engraven, Lawler, and Rainy Ravens, and Black Line Vids. Haloti Nata, la 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 la, 92 overall, is dressed up in blue instead of purple and black and white, whatever uniform y'all wear. We'll be tasked with replacing all pro Ndamukha Su. He's not going to replace Ndamukha Su. He, he ain't going to produce the same load Ndamukha Su had by holding out a still, still a beast. Oh, Oni, hey, how you doing? Other stars include Ryan Austin linebacker DeAndre Levin, 93 overall. Free safety Glover Quinn, 90 overall. Middle linebacker Stefan Talak, 87 overall. I think that's how you pronounce his name, Talak. Right outside linebacker Ezekiel Ansah, 88 overall. Will need to take the next step in his third season. They got the Lions. They got a nice, nice defense, and they got a pair of weapons on offense, man. They can produce. They, they can produce a lot of points on offense, and they, they defense is really, really nice. Top 10 defense, I believe, last year. And they pretty much kept most of their veterans, so there should be no reason why they shouldn't finish the top 10 defense again. Um, but then again, you know, the Falcons, where our defense starts, well, we had two top 10 takeovers and turnovers, and we pretty much, year after that, yeah, it's like that all disappeared. <laughs> but anyways, um, I think the Lions will definitely make the playoffs, but I don't think they're going to win the Super Bowl. Reason being, um, I would have to say, I mean, they got wide receiver. They running back is good, but I think that running back position and they running back position locked down. I think it all comes down to um, injuries. It, it all comes down to injuries. If Calvin can stay healthy for the whole year, they can definitely, most likely, probably reach the championship at, at best. Um, I don't see them knocking out the Packers though. That's just not gonna happen. 
uh, I don't see them beating the Packers in the playoffs if they ever were to play. But I think I definitely had the Lions to make the playoffs. Minnesota Vikings. Now this is a nice team right here. I, I would love to get into these this team's stats. 77 overall, a healthy and effective halfback AJ Peterson, child beater. 95 overall can run the Vikings right into the playoffs. With defenses focusing on AP and vertical threats like wide receivers Mike Wallace, 86 overall, and Cordell Patterson, 73 overall, 90 speed. Quarterback Teddy Bridgewater, 82 overall, has a good chance at a breaking at breaking out in his second season. The Vikings secondary is at strength with free safety Harrison Smith, 93 overall. Cornerback Xavier Rhodes, 86 overall. And strong safety Robert Blanton, 86 overall. Right in Ariston Griffin, 89 overall. And D-Tackle Sheriff Floyd, 87 overall. A solid on the D-line. They definitely have a nice, um, nice, nice, nice secondary. Um, they defense is nice as well. The D-line, um, you know, safety, they secondary, nice as well. Um, they got an AP back, so, you know, they're definitely locked down and running back. You got Teddy, Teddy, I think the whole combination with Teddy Bridgewater, the whole Teddy Bridgewater and AP, they can definitely run a lot of read option, and they can really, 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 and I mean really destroy a lot of teams with the read option. You have AP, who's one of the best running backs in the league right now, Coming along with Teddy Bridgewater, who can scramble as well, they can r really run a hell out of a read option. And then you got, you know, speed wide receivers like Cordell Patterson and Mike Wallace on top of that. Definitely, definitely Vikings are definitely never a sleeper team to watch out for. NFC North, y'all better be on the lookout. Definitely, definitely a sleeper team. Do I have the Vikings making the playoffs? They definitely can. There is a possible chance they can. I think the only thing that's probably going to stop them from that would have to be... Um, I don't know, man. I really don't. I can't say much about the Vikings. I don't really, you know, watch the Vikings that much. Um, I don't think the Vikings are. They can make the playoffs, but do I think they're gonna make the playoffs this year? Um, no. Why be? It will have to be because of their division. Their division is just so. The Lions and the Packers pretty much run a division. Back in the day, it used to be, you know, Vikings, Packers, Bears, Pack, Pack, you know, so on and so forth. Nowadays, you know, time changes. But, you know, besides all that, man, I think the, 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 their division is going to be the reason being they don't make the playoffs. Last but not least, how about them Bears, though? Chicago Bears, the last, they got the, the, the worst overall, actually, the lowest overall in this division. 75 overall at best. The Bears were a disaster in 2014, but new head coach John Fox could right the ship. Despite the loss of Brandon Marshall, quarterback Jay Cutler, 79 overall, has talented targets and Tiny Martellus Bennett, who's a 90 overall. That's that's really nice. Wide receiver Alshon Jeff, 90 overall, and rookie wide receiver Kevin White, 70 overall from West Virginia University, WS WVU. My bad. <laughs> the versatile Matt, the versatile Matt Forte, 90 overall, also returns. New addition left outside linebacker Pernell McPhee. Did he play for the Ravens? 87 overall and right outside linebacker Jared Allen, 79 overall. Should help improve a defense that rate dead 30 in 2014. Keep an eye on second year cornerback Kyle Fuller, 78 overall, and third year middle linebacker John Boston. Bears, I like how this offense is looking. They got ooh, 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 ooh. I like how this offense is looking. They got um Jay Cutler, um, you know, Brandon Marshall, Martellus Bennett. Uh, oh, well, well, let's head it back. Let's take out Jake Cutler. They got Brandon Marshall, Martellus Bennett, Alshon Jeff, and Kevin White, and Matt Forte. Uh, defense is not all that well, you know, but defense line wise, since they run a 3 4 a little bit, or I think they run a 3 4 or 4 3, I don't know. Um, I think that defensive line, linebackers are really, I think they're, you know, linebacker wise, defense line, they should be pretty solid there. I think that secondary, that secondary, I think the thing that kills the Bears is either they're going to be that secondary. Or, I mean, either that defense or it's going to be Jay Cutler. I think most likely it's probably going to be a little bit a little bit of both, perhaps. Um, but besides of that, man, I have the Packers finishing first. I have the Lions finishing second. I have, um, I would say, the Vikings finishing third and the Bears finishing fourth. I don't think, as much as I like to see some comp, there's going to be some competition. There's going to be some blood in the division. Somebody gonna get their hand, their blood. They gonna get some hand, some blood on their hands, pretty much. That mean, look at all, look at these weapons. You got new additions. You got Kevin White back there. AP's entering the division. You got Haloni Nada coming into the division, and then the Packers as always. You know, the Packers. Um, I think they're definitely gonna be a little bit of, uh, 
probably a couple of upsets in the division, if not one, but two. Um, this is definitely like a fun division. I definitely be paying it close attention to. I think um, that you know, I think a lot of teams improved a little bit. Well, I don't, the Bears didn't really improve much, but um, uh, Vikings really improved a little bit. Got AP back, so I would say, yeah, I will have the Vikings finish third and the Bears finish in fourth, and Lions second, Packers first. You guys let me know in the conversation who do you guys think will finish from first place to fourth place in the NFC North division. You guys join me tomorrow. I think we're going to dive into the NFC South. My Falcons, my Dirty Birds, rise up. Can't wait to get to them stats, man. Besides all that, man, make sure you guys give video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. If you're new, I'm out. Peace.